Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor. If you guys are new and I'm back and better with a, another video. And in today's video, I will be doing a curly hair routine using only black owned hair brands. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. I kind of went crazy on Sally's website because Sally's had 30% off all textured hair care products. I definitely, you know, went not too crazy, but just bought some stuff that I've been wanting to try for a while. So the first products that I guess I'll show are the hair masks that I purchased. So the first hair mask was this TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask and I've heard great things about this so when it was on sale I was like you know what I'm gonna try this out. So the next I have this hair mask by Camille Rose. This is the Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask with Cocoa and Mango Butter and this is really really good. I use this in my wash day routine video today and I think this is gonna have to be a staple in the routine because this has amazing slip and it smells really good. It smells like um mint chocolate chip ice cream so next i have some miel or miel products i have their leave-in conditioner this is the pomegranate and honey line for thick curly type 4 hair i don't have type 4 hair i have type 3 ish hair but i do believe that this will give me a lot of moisture since it is for people who have type 4 hair i feel like i'll get a lot of moisture with it this is a curl smoothie this is supposed to enhance curls with a soft definition i'm not really too i don't know i don't know about the soft definition i like my curls are really, really defined so that's why I got this it's sculpting custard this is for deep definition this is gonna be where it's at because I really love my curls to be defined so we're gonna see how this works out but it smells good too this is kind of more of a gel so now I have this this is the gel I showed in my last video this is curls this is their sculpting gel and now I have my discover tray Lux products so the first thing that I have is their leave-in conditioner and I love this. This is like probably my favorite product of theirs because this really defined my curls. When I got my hair cut, the stylist actually used this on my hair. My hair turned out super good. This made my curls feel really soft and it smells like cinnamon. I love that smell. So next I have the um, their Curl Supreme. This is their hydrating cream. And this smells really good. It smells like cake batter to me. I love that smell. I'm really picky about how my hair products smell. The last thing that I have from this brand is their High Definition Curl Enhancer Styling Gel. And I love gels because they just, gels are just so good on my hair. They really define your curls and they'll give you long lasting moisture and hold. If you want your curls to last and not get super frizzy like, you know, on day one or day two, then you might want to get a gel because gel is really going to make your curls last a long time. So I'm going to use Discover Trilux. I'm gonna use this. I know this works good, and I'm gonna use our gel. And I've heard good things about these two together. So we're gonna see how these two work out together. Um, I'm really excited because I already know this works good. So um, I just co-washed this out my hair, so that's why it's all frizzy looking and stuff. Cause I just washed it and stuff, and I just messed my hair up. I only messed one section up, so it's not that bad. But I'm still mad at myself because like, why didn't not work? But honestly, it's like you can't make a product work for you if, it, if the ingredients if your hair just does not like what's in the ingredients then it's just not gonna like it so and that's okay because your hair is not gonna respond well to every single thing you put in it which is you know I understand that so I thought it was because it had coconut oil and my hair really does like coconut oil so I thought oh this product has something my hair likes in it but I guess my hair just did not approve so I'll definitely have to exchange it for something new or just get the money back Mm, it smells so good. So I'm going to take clean conditioner and I'm just going to apply it throughout the hair. I'm going to go like this first. And then I'm going to go ahead and finger detangle. I'm really mad. I took a lot of time in doing that. I was like, I was literally so happy that it was going to work. I knew it was going to work. I was just, I just had high hopes for it. And it just did not work out for me. So now I'm going to take the gel. So I found these products off of Bianca Renee. She has, she's a hair guru on youtube and instagram and her hair is just so pretty and i was just like oh she uses this she recommends it it looks good on her hair i mean i know everybody has different hair types but i just wanted to give it a try because i thought it would work on me so yeah i gave it a try and i actually do like how they do my hair i like how they work on my hair so this gel ooh, you won't have the best core definition the gel kind of smells like the perfume your grandma has on it when you go to hug her it kind of smells like that but it's like a nice smell for this next section i'm gonna go ahead and section it into two again because i like to do three sections for my hair i'm disappointed in my l or miel because like i really thought i really thought that they would be doing something I'm 
gonna go ahead and do the other side i finished this side as y'all can see super defined i love the gel it's on my dresser let me get it like the gel gives you definition the lip conditioner gives you your moisture so i really do love this combination together i think my curls are super defined they're gonna turn out really really well i might go outside to kind of make the process you know go a little faster but this gel dries really quickly usually within like 20 30 minutes my i'll have a cast on my curls but this side over here is like my coarse my coarse side of hair so i take this and i'm gonna go ahead and spray it down let's repeat the same process like i did on the other side i know i said earlier that all black owned brands are good no they're not i'm sorry miel maya whatever you say however you say it i tried probably two lines I've, I've tried the pomegranate and the honey line and then i've also tried their um whatchamacallit the avocado and something like that line and that mess like my hair did not like it i don't know why i don't know what's up with like the maya products my hair just does not work out with that so probably never gonna buy nothing from them again unless it's like their oil that i used earlier today their oil but that's about it I just finished my hair. This is how it's looking. Um, as y'all can see, I have like shorter pieces in the front because that's like the bangs I have. And they're kind of like, they're not damaged, but they're just a little bit more looser. But they'll probably tighten up as, you know, I start to wear my hair more out like this and I start to train my curls because I did have like some heat damage whenever um, he cut my hair. It's always been there. It's just been hiding because I had more hair in the front. But now he cut it short, so it's more like noticeable. But it's still cute. I mean, I really like it. I think that. It turned out good this side is longer than this side right now this is just wet soaking wet this is kind of dried and it has a cast on it a small little cast this side i just finished styling so that's why it looks like that but i promise y'all when it dries it'll definitely be even this is not sponsored this is just on my bot but i recommend it i mean even though they didn't sponsor me i didn't get these for free i had to pay for this with my own money but it's worth it so i'm gonna wait and um i'll come back on here when my hair is dry it might be late at night it might not i don't know but I do know that my hair does take a while to dry. Um, so this is the back. <laughs> hey everyone, this is the final result. Let me go ahead and move this camera over. So this is how my hair is looking. So right off the bat, when I first, when my hair first dried, I had a cast. If you don't know what a cast is, basically it's just like a crunch to your hair. So when you touch your hair, it feels a little bit more crunchy. But that's a good sign because and some people don't like that they don't like when products make their hair crunchy but i do because i feel like i get a longer time out of my wash and go and well if you're not too like if you don't really want the crunch then just use a little bit don't use too much of it because then you won't really have a super noticeable crunch to your hair but you'll have some hole in definition but for me i use a lot of it which is probably the biggest mistake i made because i noticed that like even though i had the cast my curls were just they're like i went in the car yesterday i was in the car yesterday and i started doing this and i started like playing with it and i started noticing like white flakes flying just like product residue so the gel does flake don't use too much i'll probably rate this like a 7 out of 10 just because of the fact that the gels i've used in the past don't flake no matter how much i use so the fact that i used a lot of this and it like flakes my hair it's just it made me really not want to use it as much so um i have a lot of definition as y'all can see look at that like each strand each individual strand has a lot of definition to it so that's one thing that i do like about this gel now this side is like my weird curl pattern side like my curl pattern is really loose on this side so you can see there the definition is there um i don't know if i have shine i wouldn't say i have shine i feel like i don't i feel like on camera it looks like i do but in person it's kind of like i don't know i feel like i really don't have a lot of shine but this is supposed to give you shine now, the leave-in conditioner, on the other hand, this is really good. My hairstylist, well, not my hairstylist, the person who did my hair, the person who cut my hair at the hair salon, um, he used this on my hair. And when he used this, I was like, oh, I fell in love with that. I was like, oh, I literally just bought this. I'm going to have to try it for a video. So he used this, but he didn't use this gel. He used a different gel from a different brand. 
so the brand that he used is actually also black owned but I could not get a hold of it in time for the video because it was not in any stores around me so I had to order it so it's coming on it's coming out on Wednesday so I'll do a hair review and show you how it works and how to get your curls really defined because those products really define my curls a lot so I have a lot of volume you can really see my shape you can really see the cut and how it's looking um I do have like some frizz here and there but it's not super noticeable it's not super bad um, I do have heat damage. I don't know if you can tell. I do have some heat damage in the front of my hair, but it's not super noticeable. And usually, what I do is I just finger coil, so it's you know defined, and so it curls up more. But other than that, other than the flakes, I really am proud of the results. I feel like my curls will last me for like a few more days. And I just noticed that I didn't put any makeup on this whole video. I look so. I've just been really confident in my skin. I feel like my skin is clearing up so well that I don't need makeup. So, you know. But yeah, so that's it for the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like this video, comment, and subscribe for more hair videos. But I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up because it's just flaking and it's just, I'm going to have to wash it before I go to work. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like this video, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.